Are you running out of space on your image photo server? With the image server up and running, look down in the lower left to see how much storage space you have. In my case, we see that the storage space says I'm using about 9 point something gigs out of the 19 and a half that my system has. Well, 20 gigs was the amount of space that we allocated to the container, and I have less than 10 gigs, which is definitely not gonna be enough. In this video, we will be adding more storage by attaching a NAS, or a network attached storage, to my image server so that I have a lot more space to store my photos and videos. First, let's hop on over to my NAS and create a folder that will be shared with image. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder named image. That's pretty much it. That's all that I should need to do on the NAS. The next thing that we need to do is to make sure that the NAS folder is available to the image LXC. You would think that we should be able to just do a mount command in the LXC, but that's not gonna work. This is because the Linux kernel deliberately removes the ability for unprivileged containers to perform network mounts for security reasons. This restriction is by design to prevent potential privilege escalation because mounting file systems is a privilege operation. And because I am running my image server in a LXC in Proxmox, the thing I need to do first is to make sure that the NAS is available to the Proxmox host. Once we have the NAS available to the Proxmox host, then we can use the bind mount methodology instead of directly mounting the NAS into the LXC because once again, our LXC is an unprivileged container. All right, so let's hop back to the LXC because we need to figure out something. We need to figure out the user ID and the group ID for the image process because we need to make sure that the NAS is mounted as the image user. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a grep of the word image from slash Etsy slash password. And so we see that the user ID for image is 999 and the group ID is 995. So go ahead and make a note of that. Now let's hop back to the Proxmox shell and the PVE shell. And you should be able to double check that you're using Proxmox by looking at the machine name, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and create a mount point in the slash MNT folder and name it image dash NAS. So I'm gonna do make dir slash MNT slash image dash NAS. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the FS tab configuration file to make the mounting of the NAS persistent on every reboot. And if you don't wanna do that, you can just go ahead and manually mount it, but I wanna make sure that every time the system reboots for some reason, that NAS is remounted automatically. And I'm gonna go ahead and use VI to edit the FS tab file. You can use Nano or Emacs or whatever text editor you are familiar with. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a line here that says slash slash 192.168.1.234 because that's the IP number for my NAS, slash home share slash image, right? That's the folder that we had created earlier it was the image folder. And I'm gonna mount that here to my local machine, my Proxmox server under a slash mount slash image dash NAS because that's the folder we just created. And I'm gonna use the SIFS protocol, right? The Windows uh, file share protocol. And then for the options, I'm gonna use version 3.0 of Samba. I'm gonna go ahead and use credentials of slash root slash dot SMB credentials. I'm gonna add the dir underscore mode of 0777 and also file underscore mode of 0777 so that people can read and write to that folder. And then lastly, I'm gonna set my UID to be equal to 100999 and the GID to be 100995. And again, this is the methodology for the user ID and the group ID. We wanna make sure that those are set to the image user on the LXC so that that user can freely read and write to the NAS. Okay, once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and save that file. And then I'm gonna go ahead and 
mount the NAS by doing mount dash A, right? This is going to mount everything in the FS tab that we just created that was not already there. And the system tells me that uh, I need to use the next command to update the mounting table for system D because it's using the OFS tab. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this command that says systemctl daemon dash reload. Okay, so everything is set. Let's check to see if the mount works by doing an ls on the mount point. So I'm going to do ls dash l capital F of slash mnt slash image dash nas. And we don't get an error, so that means that link does exist, which we know that because we had um, created that earlier. The other way we can check this is to just uh, do the mount command and then pipe it through grep of the word image. And we see here that there is one line that has the word image and it is the mounting that we want. And so now we know that the line in the FS tab was added correctly because we do have our mount here. All right, so now we need to make sure that it gets passed to the image LXC. I'm going to use the PCT command to pass that through. So I'm going to do PCT set 310. That's the number of my LXC. Yours will probably be different, so check on what yours is. So dash dash MP0 um, for the first mount point. And then I'm going to do a space of slash MNT slash image dash NAS. That is the path name of the folder on Proxmox that I want to share followed by comma, then MP equals slash MNT slash NAS. So the MP equals is the mount point for the LXC, followed by the path name, which is slash MNT slash NAS. All right, so I hit enter and I get no feedback. So let's take a look at the actual file that it updated to make sure we did the right thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do more of slash Etsy slash PVE slash lxc slash 310.conf and as we scroll down here a little bit we can see that it added mp0 colon slash mnt slash image dash nas comma mp equals slash mnt slash nas so now we know that is going to pass on this folder from the Proxmox server to this folder in the LXC. Now let's go over to the image LXC and let's check out the mount to make sure that the NAS is visible to this LXC. So I'm going to do an LS dash L capital F of slash MNT slash NAS. And yep, we do see the NAS and there's nothing there because we haven't done anything with it yet. Next, we need to replicate the data structure that image needs to function. So I'm going to copy the existing files over, right? Because I already have a couple of images uploaded. And hopefully you don't have too much data here. Otherwise, the copy might take a little while. So I'm going to do a copy dash a r slash opt slash image slash upload space slash mnt slash nas. Right, so this copy command is I'm going to do the archive format and um, recursive. And I'm going to do this as the source, the opt image upload folder. That's where the local database is stored. And I'm going to copy it all to the NAS. And then once it's done, let's go ahead and do an ls dash l capital F again of slash mnt slash NAS slash upload. And now we see all the subfolders that was copied over from our image library on the local disk. From here, we need to look at the file that is a configuration for the server because now we want to tell it to go ahead and look at the NAS instead of the local databases. So I'm going to cd into a slash opt slash image. This is where image is stored for the local uh, LXC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and vi the dot env, the environment folder. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here where currently it says image underscore media slash location, right? It points to slash opt slash image slash upload. And I'm going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to add another line and change the location to where my NAS is, which is slash mnt slash NAS 
slash upload. And then don't forget, we want to comment out the original line. And once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and save this out. And two, there's two more little things that we need to do. Um, we need to go to the image app folder. So cd into slash opt slash image slash app. Let's do a ls-l here. And you can see there is a file called upload, which is basically a link. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move the file upload to upload-original because I want to make sure in case something goes wrong, I can always restore it. And I'm going to create a new link by doing ln-s slash mnt slash nas slash upload to upload. So let's go ahead and verify it by doing ls-l. And the link looks good. One more thing we need to do here is I'm going to change the owner of the file to image instead of the uh, default. So I'm going to do chown dash capital R image colon image of upload. So what this is going to do is it's going to change ownership recursively through every subfolder of everything. I want to make sure that it is owned by image and the group is also image. And when I'm done, I can do ls minus l. And sure enough, we see here that the upload folder is now owned by image and is part of the image group. And one last thing, we need to cd into a subfolder here called machine-learning. Once again, I'm going to do ls minus l to show you what we have. And uh, once again, I am going to move the upload file to upload-original. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the link again, ln-s of slash mnt slash nas slash upload to upload. I'm going to do ls minus l to take a look at what's here. So the new link was created properly. And I'm going to do the change ownership again. CHOWN-R image colon image of upload. And then lastly, to verify, I'm going to do LS minus L. And I can see that the upload folder does belong to the user image and the group image. Great. That is pretty much all we need to do on the LXC container. So now everything is pointing properly at the NAS instead of the local, the local disk. So the only thing we need to do is restart image by doing a reboot. So I'm going to do a reboot. So now that it's been rebooted, we can take a look at the web page. And if we do a refresh, we can see that the storage space is now reflecting the NAS, which for me is I have three and a half terabytes with only a couple hundred gigs being used. So it should be good for now. So if you run out of space on your image server and you want to connect a NAS for more space, this tutorial will get you up and running pretty quickly. You just need to connect the NAS to the Proxmox server, then use the bind mounting to pass that mount to the LXC. Lastly, you need to reconfigure the image server to use the NAS as storage instead of using the local disk. I think the biggest issue I had in this whole process was getting the permissions correct so that the image server could write to the NAS. That's why we had to look at the user ID and group ID of the image user on the LXC and then mount the NAS with those parameters. For another video that I know you will enjoy, watch this video here. Leave a comment below about your experiences with home media servers. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.